<laughs> a lot of people think that the power comes from the strike, but it really comes from how high up you get your leg. You're going to kick it with the top of your foot. Oh, that was great, but you got to wait till mommy's not standing in front of you, OK? But that was great, Rockstar. You need to start studying for your ACTs again. I got a 30 on my ACTs. So, and you know what? Every time you take it, you go up a point. We're not going to argue about it anymore. Well, my trip to Paris made me realize I want to go to abroad for a year. Oh, that smells so good. What are we having, Nick? Got a uh, spaghetti squash, with, uh, basil Pepper. pesto, wow. ribs, chicken with artichokes, and asparagus. Have you really? heard anything about the dorm food at your school? I heard it's pretty good. OK, our, our buildings, though, at our school are so old, like made in the 1800s. I mean, you guys were born way before that was ever started. No, but like... no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh. Mental note doesn't want spending money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are so close to the twins leaving for college. It's like the final countdown. Like how many more dinners? How many more breakfasts? How many more see you when I get homes? Yes, yeah. thank you. Oh, whoa. All right, let's check this out. Your kids, at a certain age, they become douchey. You got to get through the puberty and the hormones and all that stuff. But when they come back to you, it is so amazing. I'm going to miss them terribly. Let's go over one thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> The shower pressure in my school <laughs> sucks, OK? If you see a charge on your credit card that says Very someone hotel. booked a hotel, <laughs> it is not fraud. It's me taking a shower and sleeping in a queen size bed. Oh, how often do you plan that's, to do that? That's Every so day. <laughs> my therapist approves. Right. <laughs> what are you guys going to do without us two? You know, we're trying to get a presence back in LA. Yeah. And I feel like it's like my first step back in the door, yeah. back into my old career. When we bought a house in Orange County, I really was making a decision to put my career on hold to raise our family. But maybe there's a space right now I'm seeing for me to have something for me. And maybe not it's the same as it was, but like whatever the new version of the old career is, but I have to be there. Yeah. Oh, please, you'll sell everything and move to Italy or something. No. Italy, How do we do Italy. that? We're workaholics. We're never going, we're, that's not going to happen. I've never lost the passion for performing, and I always will be a performer. And I kind of like want to do it all again. Like a little piece of like Heather Page Kent coming back. That's awesome. You will be wallowing, but besides that, wallowing. what are you going to do? Well, I still have two kids to take care of. And this one's going to be driving soon. Oh, my god! Which goodness. is going to. I'm so glad I'm not going to be here for that. I'm terrified for all of you. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, evidently not eating all day. Yeah. And drinking. Your face uh, off. Not a good idea. What the hell do I do now? Just like, extend just, an olive branch. I think I'm gonna sit before I pass out. God, no kidding. I haven't been hung over like this in so, so long. long. I think the point that I'm just trying to make is you need to give her a little something. Is she coming on Friday? I haven't talked to her about it. Yeah. And obviously I owe her an apology. It's who knows what else I said yeah. to her. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I'm just, I wanna be done with it. Yeah, good. I think you should invite her on Friday. It's a nice step forward for, for you. Okay. All right. I agree. I mean, there was a time where like we didn't talk for a little bit. I know. And like so much shit went down. I mean, think about that. Had I, a lot of that was my fault. There was so much drama being said about my whole life. And you put us in a, a, an uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want Will to think that we knew something before he did. Right. I should have talked to you about it. Yeah. And that's on me. I had no idea that Jen was having an affair with Ryan. And when she was married to Will, we went to Cabo with Ryan and Ryan sat down and he said, listen, I need to talk to you about something. And Eddie and I said, okay. He said, he and Jen were having an affair. Instead of calling you and being the bigger person, yeah. I was ashamed. So at that point, I realized like, why didn't Jen tell me? I'm Jen's friend, I'm not Ryan's friend. That's where our friendship started to spiral down. You know, it just, it just got bad, it got ugly. And then I kind of just pull away. You know, I felt like if I just go away, maybe it lessens it for you. And I'm sitting here with you saying, do it a little bit different. Like, switch your narrative now. Yeah. You know? Oh my God. I know, it's hot. What a night. I don't want another drunken night like that for a long oh my God. time. Ever. I'm gonna do one more. All your bad, let it all go. It's all shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Coming up. How does water and fire mix? Sometimes John just wants to be alone on the water. This fire needs <laughs> to keep burning. It makes hot water, sweetie.